hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video i'm gonna show you how you can copy uh, a morph target from uh, a skeletal mesh to another skeletal mesh for this particular video we will work with metahumans and we will attempt to copy a morph target created on the body of a metahuman to the hoodie skeletal mesh so we will copy a uh, belly uh, morph target and we want to apply uh, this uh, same uh, morph target to the hoodie skeletal mesh so we can uh, 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 morph the hoodie as well uh, as uh, we morph the body right so in order to get started you just have uh, to have a uh, morph target created uh, on uh, your metahuman it's easy to create uh, uh, a new morph target you just uh, uh, write a morph target name, press OK, open it. And once uh, this is open, you, you will have several tools here and you can create, uh, you can create uh, the morph target directly in the engine without uh, leaving it. So I can create this. This is a beer, uh, almost uh, a beer belly, right? Uh, for this example, I'm going to use this uh, already created uh, belly morph target because uh, I want to show you at the end some uh, some particular use case that uh, you might uh, face, right? So uh, first of all, once you open your morph target, you go to tools and copy. The, any morph target changes will, uh, will be applied and uh, now we can go ahead and select our hoodie skeletal mesh right so we go to asset selection and hoodie you can uh, you can copy this uh, morph target to multiple uh, skeletal uh, meshes uh, 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 at the same time but uh, we will use uh, only one mesh right right now because i only downloaded uh, the hoodie okay so now that we selected the hoodie skeletal mesh, we have uh, the morph uh, name we want to use on the hoodie skeletal mesh, which will be the same as on the body belly. And uh, for the rest of options, uh, we leave the default because uh, it doesn't really matter right now. Okay, so we press OK, and now it's saying that uh, the morph target was successfully created on the hoodie skeletal mesh, right? So. If uh, we go to hoodie, we have to reload this. And uh, now if uh, we go to hoodie, we have the morph target here. And if uh, we open it, we will see that our morph target uh, is visible uh, on the hoodie, right? So to test this and uh, see it in uh, a real scenario, we will go to our Ettore. In our case, we, we work with Ettore uh, metahuman and we can uh, select the torso and just duplicate it right so I'm just moving the torso back under body and we can rename this as hoodie now that we have uh, the, our uh, uh, skeletal mesh component created on the blueprint we can uh, ha go ahead and uh, assign the hoodie to it okay we still have the metahuman torso underneath so the hoodie just covers the entire body right to enable the morph targets as usual we create a new event enable belly we will select hoodie and our body skeletal mesh and set morph target We will write here belly, which is uh, the morph target name, and the value of one. The same goes for the body skeletal mesh component, right? Now we can go to the construction script, and here, uh, uh, after torso or whatever you want, you drag the hoodie skeletal mesh component and enable master pose. We want to keep it uh, the same as the other uh, skeletal mesh components. 
and uh, at the end in the construction script we can call our newly created event enable belly right now if uh, we go to our viewport we will see that our uh, our uh, uh, hoodie has, has the morph target enabled but uh, for this particular case uh, which is why I wanted to use this uh, exact uh, morph target we can see that that uh, our uh, underneath skeletal mesh goes through the hoodie and if we go backwards we can see it uh, again but at different LOD we can see it popping out uh, at uh, kind of the same location but not really right so for, for this to be fixed, we have to jump into Mesh Morpher and uh, adjust a little bit this uh, Morph target. Even though we copied it, since it has faults, uh, things like this uh, may occur, right? So we jump back to, to our uh, uh, hoodie skeletal mesh in Mesh Morpher and uh, just just select any tool like sculpt or move we can go with sculpt easier it doesn't really matter we just want to to move a little bit outwards uh, this area so it will cover it will cover completely the body right so let me increase the brush size a little bit so we know this entire area is gonna be uh, moving out and just one click i think we can undo and just uh, select a lower uh, strength so the, the impact is smaller we don't need that much this could be it let me save and if uh, we jump back in uh, in our uh, blueprint the Tore blueprint we will see that for lod zero we we don't have this problem anymore we go backwards and try to see if uh, we fix it for all LODs. Uh, it seems that we still have a little bit of uh, an issue. And we jump back in Mesh Morpher and around this area, we just increase a little bit, increase it a little bit. You can use a uh, Sculpt tool, you can use Sculpt Max, you can use whatever, whatever uh, tool you, you want for this uh, to to test out and now we we solved it at all LODs we don't have any any uh, underneath skeletal mesh uh, popping out uh, through the hoodie right so I think uh, this is a good example for how to handle uh, morph targets uh, copied from body to clothing and uh, yeah if you have any questions uh, don't forget to get in touch with me don't uh, don't hesitate to get in touch with me and uh, see you around Bye.